started to play the violin when I was six and piano also. And then my dad got me a theremin when I was seven years old. And he had um, already you know, played electronic music. He had Moog synthesizers and um, a band. And so he thought it would be nice to include a theremin in his band. After he tried to play it, he realized oh, it's, it's a little bit difficult. You know, you have to practice a theremin. So I was available and I started to play the theremin. The theremin is one of the earliest electronic musical instruments and it was invented by Leon Theremin around 1919-1920. Uh, and it was back then the only instrument you play without touching anything. So it has two antennas which send out electromagnetic fields and the player influences these fields with, with the hand or, or body. I never doubted that the theremin was my instrument. It was always clear to me that I would be a thereminist or that I'm a thereminist. Even if I studied a little bit of composition, a little bit of violin, piano, I always knew like the theremin, that's my thing. Because I grew up with these electronic sounds, I have them in my heart and I, I, love, I love these sounds. And so when I play the theremin, you know, it's just in my blood. Many people who you know, get the theremin at the first time and they play around with it, they see it as a gimmicky thing and uh, a tool you can create cool effects with. And that's true, but you can also you know, go much further and um, create you know, not only melodies that we have heard too, but like go really deep and explore the three-dimensional space you have given you know, in, in the instrument. You cannot just play in one direction, but you can play in all directions. Um, use effects, um, like there's so many possibilities and I'm trying to combine all of these possibilities. We bought a big briar, uh, 91A, and then went to a place in Germany where Bob Moog was, and we met him and chatted with him. I think I played something for him. I remember the room, um, and like standing there with him and seeing the instrument, but that's all. When I was 17, I got a new instrument, also a Moog instrument, the Etherwave Pro. It changed a lot because suddenly we had a linear pitch field. So I started to develop a playing technique which is based on this pitch field um, and uses finger positions very precisely. And I come further and further and I learn every day new things. <laughs> and I have come to this point now that um, we don't only play with our hands, but we play with the whole body, which is maybe obvious, but you know we haven't thought about it before. So when I play the theremin, I feel my whole body. I feel like I'm grounded with my feet. I feel like a, like a tree, I would say. 
I have to think of the breathing because if I breathe very um, breathe too much, then it would interfere the sound. So when I play the theremin, I really feel grounded, and I then just conduct the sound with my hands, and that feels like grounded and at the same time yeah, like you're flying. A lot of people compare the sound of the theremin to a voice, to a human voice or a violin sound. I don't do that because like the theremin for me is the theremin and I don't see it as an electronic sound. I don't see it, you know, as a voice sound. It's just how it is. And for me, the instrument, I'm the closest to the instrument. So in a way, of course, I'm the instrument. So I have to know myself very well and I can hear directly through the speaker if I'm in the balance or if I'm in a rush or anything. So um, the theremin is kind of a mirror of myself.